millions of people out of work, a failed unemployment system, and calls for investigations. So what went wrong? We're shedding some more light on Florida's unemployment fiasco. Plus. But this disease appears to be more contagious than most of the ones that we have concern about or have had concern about in the past. It's unlike anything he's ever seen before. For the first time, we're hearing from the person who investigates whether or not someone died from the coronavirus. That doctor goes into detail of how this mass amount of deaths has been impossible to prepare for. We'll hear from him in just a few minutes. I'm glad you're here. I'm Ryan Bass. Florida is slowly reopening, but there's plenty of you who have been out of work for six or seven weeks with no check to help from the state. So we continue to get answers for you about Florida's failed unemployment system and the millions of dollars that went into it. Already, there have been more than 1 million verified claims and just under 500,000 of them have gone through. Yes, that is much better than we've seen in recent weeks, but still only about half. There's been talk that Florida's unemployment system was purposefully designed to fail back in 2013 so that it would discourage people from submitting claims and get back to work. Now the state's agricultural commissioner wants an investigation. 10 News reporter Liz Crawford spoke with Commissioner Nikki Freed a few hours ago. She wants to know, why wasn't this fixed before a pandemic hit? 